each day was a roller coaster of shock and then relief and shock and then relief again. I was watching it from home from, from Beckenham and could see the crown of the flyer heading into the wind. Incredible. Watched that fire burning into the wind and thinking, boy, is that our office, is that our shed? At the top of Mount Ada, it was always gorgeous because the crescendo of bellbird song from the Hanatahi bush would just meet you at the top, and it was it was a, a beautiful place to be. And now it's quite quiet. Oh, now look at this. This is the bracken that's all coming away naturally after the fire. It's absolutely fantastic, and will be the first thing that colonises and allows the other native species to come in and regenerate through it. This is a really good example of the flax coming away. You can see brand new tillers coming through, um, the, the new tops of the shoots. So they recover, huh? They certainly look like they are. <laughs> opportunity now to to plant a higher proportion of the of the species that that are less flammable. So Victoria Park, um, there's a lot of exotic plants planted along there, um, conifers and other things. Ideally no we wouldn't replant conifers, we'd ideally plant native species in there that have closed canopy um, that will stabilise those soils and those slopes. I think, you know, we are a catalyst, the humans in this landscape, because the, the grass um, here is just so thick that the, the seeds that any birds drop just don't get through the grass. Planting is the only way, really, to get that process going. We plant basically to stop the, the soil washing into the waterways. The soil is Lewis clay, which has blown over the last 20,000 years off the, the plains, and it washes easily down and into this catchment streams and into the Heathcote River and, and the, the estuary because it all has an impact on the, the ecological values downstream. <laughs> There's water in there, yeah. The fire has changed the focus for the planting. We are on the south flank of Kennedy's Bush. Well, we've got 80 volunteers today for our first planting of 12 planting days and uh, busy planting away. Tree species that are being planted are tortora, kawhi, ribbonwood, lace barks, pigeonwood, and the um, subcanopy trees are broadleaf, five finger, pittosporum tenuifolium, lemonwood. They've all been sourced from the Port Hills by the City Council nurserymen. 16 years of planting is nothing when you've got 800 year old trees that have been saved, so we just get down and start planting again. There's a lifetime's work here. There's a wee way to go. <laughs>